Hi, this is Greg Lowe. This is a video in the SDU Tools series that looks at how we change the case of strings in T-SQL using SDU Tools. The first of the functions here is proper case. We use this for cleaning up names and addresses when data has come typically from other systems where maybe the entire thing is in uppercase or lowercase or it's just a complete mess. This at least gets it back in the ballpark of being sort of reasonable. What it does do though is it has special handling for Mac and Muck and in here hyphenation and PO boxes and so on. So let's have a look at what this looks like. So I'll just highlight this and execute it. Let's look at the output. So the first one, the quick brown fox consumed a McRib at McDonald's. The only thing to really note there is McRib has ended up different and McDonald's has ended up different as well in this case. The rest of them have been capitalised as expected. In this case down here, Janet McDermott has been processed correctly. The PO box has worked properly and the curly haired company has worked correctly as well. So this is the use of proper case. The second function I want to look at is title case. This is used more like the title of a book. So let's highlight this and have a look. Notice in this case that it's very similar to proper case except the A here and the at and so on have all become lowercase. And these are because these are considered less important words. And same for and the and of and so on. And so this is part of if you look at how you would normally write the title on a book, this is how you'd typically lay it out. Next function is camel case, and this is similar to how we define identifiers in .NET programming languages, or similar programming languages, where we capitalize each of the words after removing all the white space, except for the first word. So let's try this. And notice that Janet McDermott has ended up with a capital M but a lowercase j. And so here, the lowercase, curly head company, all capitals. And notice the words are all pushed together. And so this is named after a camel, literally, with humps in the middle. Next on the list is Pascal case. This is named after the Pascal programming language, or originally after the man himself. But what they do with identifiers is very much the same as camel case, except all of the identifiers are capitalized. And so let's have a look at this. And so notice that the white space has been removed. All of the words are capitalized and pushed together. But it's the first letter of each word capitalized and all of the words are capitalized. Then we get into the ones with interesting names. So snake case is very similar to what we see inside the tables and views inside SQL Server itself. And so let's have a look at this one. And so what's happened is we've removed excess white space, we've lowercased all of the words, and then replaced the space between the words with underscores. So in this case, Janet underscore McDermott, the underscore curly underscore head underscore company. And finally, the even more interestingly named kebab case, sometimes given other names, but in this case, this is very, very similar to the snake case we had before, except it uses hyphens. So let's execute that, look at the outcome. But in this case, these are capitalized words, not lowercase words, and we have hyphens between each one of them. We hope you find those functions useful. For more information on SDU tools and for a link to download them, please visit our site at www dot sequel down under dot com.